challenges of trying to get calls in against the kind of fastball offense that Ole Miss or South Florida last week? Yeah, I just think everybody has to be urgent and get lined up. Like, we really don't have too much time to celebrate after you make a tackle or a big play or anything like that. And that's one thing that we've been focusing on in practice is even if the scout team not running back to the ball or going in fast tempo, we do that as a defense, just being, uh, being conscious of running back to the ball and getting the call uh, so it can translate to the game. On the right, Charlie. Coach Simmons really pr uh, praised you for being a leader. Just how much have you and the other guys kind of preached that message of togetherness and accountability? Uh, we preach that. We preach that every day. Uh, you know, that's what drives the team. The team has to have a lot of chemistry, and you have to know your brother uh, to know what he's going through, and also it gives you a little bit more to play for if you know what your brother going through and how he responds to different type of uh, critiques and to that such. Also, just not getting on to your brother, but also showing him love when he does uh, good, the good things and showing him a lot of praise and things like that. But having a good, close-knit team is really important. Up front, Tony. You were a guy that was thrown into the fire your freshman year. How tough is that to pick up as a freshman, picking up out of Alabama and Nick Saban defense? Uh, it's, it's very tough just because of all the checks and adjustments that we have to make in the defense and all the different type of offenses and formations that we see. But as long as you're in your playbook and you're studying and uh, you're coming up here and being uh, extra with your coach and you're just doing the extra things to make sure that you're on top of uh, all the plays and the schemes, you would be good. Stay up front with Kennington. Along the lines of communication, Coach Saban has praised you for being a really good communicator. What is your approach to making sure that everybody is aligned? Uh, I just think that communicating is what helps us as a defense and as a secondary. And if everybody's on the same page, uh, we're all going to be good. And so I just think uh, even sometimes I might even call the wrong call. We all play the wrong call, but we're all wrong. We're all right. So communicating is a big key of just getting everybody on the same page because we need all the lessons to guide on the field to do their job in order to be successful. Nick Alvarez. In your career, how has T-Rob kind of helped your development and your versatility as a secondary? Uh, t Rob's helped me a lot. Um, I always talk to him about my technique, and he always tells me if I'm doing something wrong or if I need to fix something or if he sees something with my technique that I need to change or he gives me little insights on uh, how to guard certain routes and what to look at and things like that. But T. Rod has been a great coach, and I've really learned a lot from him. Mike? What do you remember about playing against Ole Miss your freshman year, kind of that crazy game in Oxford? And then what can you say about you know Lane Kiffin's offense having gone against them three times now? Yeah, yeah. Freshman year, it, it was a pretty uh, crazy game. I think that was my first crazy game I didn't have uh, in my career here. But yeah, their offense is definitely explosive, and they're a fast tempo offense, and they have a lot of good players on their team, and it's going to be fun Saturday. Katie. With turnovers kind of being an emphasis for y'all, how big was it for you to get that interception on Saturday, and especially in that moment, just kind of take us through trying to keep them out and to get y'all the ball back? Yeah, uh, you know, we emphasize on turnovers a lot, and that's the thing that we're going to continue to work on as a defense, but uh, it was a critical part in the game, and they actually put a slot receiver, a receiver in the slot that wasn't there, and he was on the ball, so I kind of knew that they was going to throw the ball deep. And the opportunity to that we always talk about make that play and I just made it. Two more, Kennington. I talked to your high school coach, Josh Floyd. He said in watching you, he feels like you've been playing a little bit more amped up maybe than, than you ever had. What motivation did you take into this year and um, you know, how would you just describe the emotion that you showed on the field? Yeah, I just I just love the game of football, man. I just love being out there playing with my teammates. Uh, every Saturday, just taking the field with them and going to war with them. And it's honestly a blessing to be here at the University of Alabama and to play this game that I love so much. So I just want to show that and I wear my heart on my sleeves when I'm out there on the field and uh, try to try to get my team as much energy as I can. Tony. One, how did those early reps, how did they help you with your development? And then two, did it kind of help you also relate to younger players now since you were kind of thrown into the fire? Yeah, it, it helped my development a lot because I, I had to grow up real quick. Um, just being playing college football at the biggest stage, is, it can kind of be an eye-opener for a young guy. And I feel like I can relate to them by telling them to just like,
just calm down. Like, you got this. Just go over your plays and everything. I just tell them to hit me up with anything, any questions they have. If they need to learn how to watch film or anything like that, you can always come to me. But I'm always, uh, I'm always giving my young guys advice, and even the young guys who aren't playing as much, I just tell them to keep working. You just keep working. You never know when your time is going to come. Last one. Kobe. Kind of a two-parter, just are you looking forward to seeing Pete Golden on the other sideline and what kind of challenges do that can he as a defensive coordinator present to y'all's offense? Uh yeah, you know when Pete was here, he was a great guy. I loved him. And um, it's definitely gonna be good seeing his face over there on the sideline. And his defense, you know, he wants the Darius and Steven to have a, a natural mentality to get the ball and uh, play fast and aggressive. And uh, he did a good job when he was here. Awesome. Thanks, Kelly.